Hello! We received a lot of questions about the devices we use during creating images. As you may notice, we are really into optimizing our workflow. So the mouse I'm going to show you today really helps with speeding up the production process. So let me present to you the Logitech Mouse Master MX3. This mouse is the next generation of Master MX and I need to say that the new version is much better. Plus, one quick tip, never buy the white mouse. First of all, it has a beautiful design. It's stylish, elegant and minimal. Much nicer than the second version. Now it's more narrow and I feel that my experience is much more comfortable. I love it. I need to tell you that this new top wheel is awesome. It's really precise, but you can scroll really fast if you need to. Plus, it works really well on different surfaces, even on glass. Another cool thing is that it comes with USB-C charging cable, which is a big plus for me. What's really interesting, they say that it should last for 3 hours of use with just 1 minute charge. Plus, it should have enough power for 70 days on full charge. This mouse comes with a special application which allows you to customize your experience. So let's see how it works. This mouse has a really cool option that allows you to seamlessly switch between computers. And what's even more exciting, you can copy paste text, images and files between them. You can also connect the mouse to three different devices and change it just by clicking the button. That's a really great option. In the point and scroll section, you can customize things related to the way the mouse works. For example, the speed, sensitivity, how smooth the scrolling is and so on. And the last thing I'd love to show you, and for me the best from all, is customizing all the buttons and wheel of the mouse. You can see there are a lot of options we can assign. Like navigation options, productivity, media control, mouse, commands, system commands, quick access options. So many of them. This one is assigned as a gesture button by default. If you set any button as a gesture button, it means that you get four additional options. So five in total. That's so powerful. So basically, if you only click on this button, in this case, it will switch applications. If you hold this button and move your mouse to the front, it will open the calculator. If you hold this button and move the mouse back, it will launch the specific application. For me, it's snipping tool. You can also set options to hold the button and move right or left. You can customize all the buttons however you want. Additionally, you can set extra options for specific applications. I'd love to show you how you can use it in the 3ds Max. Here I chose a keystroke assignment, delete key. So here I have a gesture button assigned. You can see what options I've assigned to different movements. Single click will be entered. Left right movement. Accordingly, M for the Material Editor and A for applying the material. Let me show you. Now, you can see that I hold the button and move the mouse to the front. By the way, let me know in the comments if you're interested in this kind of videos where I review devices from the 3D artist's perspective. Now, I hold the button and move the mouse to the back. Now, front and back movement. For front it can be, for example, interactive rendering and for the back, 2D pan zoom mode. Let me show you the way how I've set this up. Let's say for 2D pan zoom mode. I apply the shortcut Ctrl plus key for this. 
and I assign the same shortcut in the Logitech application. It's really powerful, you can set it however you want. Super handy. You can see how quick it is. Now let me show you how I've set this up in Photoshop. I do all things with just clicking the mouse. Ok, I will start from creating the new layer. I will hold the button and move the mouse to the left. Clicking the button works as enter. Now I create a group. Next thing, applying the mask filled in white. And now the mask filled in black. Now options from the second button. You can see that I have different colors selected here. So if I click the button and move the mouse to the left, the layer will be filled with background color, in this case red. And if I move it right, it will be filled in the foreground color, in this case green. And again, you can see how simple it is. Next, I can apply curves by holding the button and moving front. And hue saturation by holding the button and moving back. And I can delete by only clicking on the front button. It's awesome! Super quick! Generally, I love this mouse. It can be really helpful in speeding up the workflow. To be honest, if I have to use another mouse for some reason, I'm super lost and it's super hard for me to work this way. So if you're considering buying a new mouse, be sure you check this one as well. Ok, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and also don't forget to like this video if you found this interesting, share it, subscribe and do all these wonderful things. See you guys in the next video!